After cycling through Europe and across the Sahara in Africa, we were back in Finland to continue our world tour. We had cycled about 350 kilometers from Helsinki towards the Arctic in extremely challenging winter conditions. Last night we cycled through a snowstorm. Challenge is fun. And now snow goes to my eyes. <laughs> and now it was time to pedal the 30 last kilometers to Yvaskula. We had so much fresh snow last night and it's really amazing. Fresh and powdered snow, it's beautiful. This kind of winter, unfortunately, nowadays is not that common in South Finland especially. That's a little bit sad. But this year, it's been amazing. These are really, really a cute uh, bus station. Look at that. <laughs> They're amazing. Gloves. These are too warm now. Ooh. How's it going? It's okay. Cheeks are a little bit cold, but it's fine. To warm them up a little. There's a risk of frostbite in this kind of condition and weather, but one thing I do, which it helps quite a bit about it. I really do not wash my face so often. I let there to be a natural layer of oil on the skin, which skin produces itself. So that protects the skin pretty well. Also, you shouldn't put any water-based cream on your face because that gets uh, frozen. Another thing is if you put a thick layer of oil, then sweat doesn't evaporate and the sweat gets frozen between the oil and your skin and that's also creates a frostbite. Yeah, it's a break time. I left to pistach you. What is that? Bon appétit. I was just thinking if we are lucky the snow plow is coming soon. Since there was quite a bit of snow, this road clearly hasn't been plowed today. Now we got freshly, freshly. of snow. As much as we get more north, there's more snow. Ah. 
dog is not happy. And look at inside the bus station. Welcome to your vascular. That's a river, by the way. Now it's totally frozen. So people, they can walk, they drive a snowmobile and ski or whatever on it. In some places even you can drive a car on the river or a frozen lake. But yeah, you really need to know what you're doing and check how thick is the ice. We sort this issue out. Matilda's cheeks are pretty frozen, it's annoying. Seems like a spring is arriving, but for a week we will have a plus degree and then again it's going to go to minus 15. Then it will be lots of ice. <laughs> We go to the next bike shop to just check the spokes to make sure they have an equal tension. But which direction? Let me see. I think right. Sir. We checked the wheels and continued north towards Oulu. A fantastic spring day in central Finland. This winter has been amazing. In my opinion, Oulu is a gate of Finnish Lapland. We have 330 kilometers to Oulu. Uh, let's see how long it takes. We're sharing the road with quite a few trucks, but luckily today it's plus degrees and the road is pretty dry, so it's not that slippery. Unless there is slush. To Anes to Skoski, we have 36. To Tikka Masala Koski, we have 12. Let's go. Today has been a pretty sunny day and now this beautiful sunset. In early spring, you might end up in this kind of icy ground. It is pretty difficult to put your peg in. A tip for this kind of condition, you can a little bit dig the ground and put your peg in this position and then take a lot of snow and put on top of it and wait for half an hour. After half an hour, you will have a rock solid anchor over there because snow gets harder, as you can see here. In this camp spot now, we have a really icy ground and we use the same technique almost for all the pegs. And another thing, if it is a really, really windy and you are in a really uh, critical position, then you can put a little bit of water here and then put the snow on it but this is just as a really really a last option because in the morning you are going to have a nightmare <laughs> taking these pegs off
So last night we stayed here with the Vaherwara family. Yeah, kiitoksia teille kohdasta. Ilo oli meidän puolella. Ruoasta matkaa teille. All right, rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll, joo. Blues and jazz. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Toivottavasti näemme vielä. Toivottavasti. Jos me tullaan takaisin sä mä... Joo, tervetuloa. Kiitoksia. Okay. Sitten mä tuun itse. Thank you, Oko. Now it's my turn to fall down. So. Publish our next vlog. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss our vlogs. And we are now need to find a petrol station in order to publish our next vlog. Yes. It's impossible to do it in the tent because the weather is cold, computers they get they get really destroyed. Sorry guys, lens is not clean and it's difficult to keep it clean. So, I apologize about that. It's very nice when it's not so cold. It's not like you're freezing immediately when you stop. Look at how dirty this is. It's wet and dusty, so can't take the computers out outside. You have to go inside. We are back to the minus temperature. It seems like it will be below zero for the next two weeks. Love it. want to see what they think they have to offer but doesn't seem to be much more than post office, schools and uh, yeah nothing really to see I think. This area could be nice old town. You can go to the old town. This is I think a paper factory I think that's the heart of the town. Uh, I hate paper factories. They cut trees. I don't like paper factories. The bikes look kind of different depending on which angle you look at them from. From here, they look almost clean. From the back, it's just mud. Very true. So, what's your impression? It's a funny town. It's an industrial town. There are two, at least two big factories here. So. Not that much more else, I think. But some beautiful old old houses here and there, like that one. This is the town Anestuskoski, called by me. Officially Anekoski. Do you want to visit the center? Huh. The center? I think it's just there. Why not? It is. It is a center, proper center. Come on, you can make a fun of the town. Honey, let's go. Huh? Guess who's the centrum? Goes that way. Centrum. That's all. Downtown Anikoski. And the LCD 
you wanted to see? No, I just wanted to see the sand room. Very nice. Let's go. Whether you have a fat tire, thin tire, whatever, you can cycle that place. These are all lake, left and right side. There's many, many lakes in Finland. You can see the snowmobile tracks driving on this river or lake. Uh, interesting there. It's really interesting there to that. It's a beautiful snowfall. for a place to sleep tonight and suddenly we saw this kota shelter all over Finland there are these public shelters that you can stay in for one or two nights and usually there's wood if it's a government owned place there's wood that you can use but yeah always check if it's a government owned or public shelter or not <laughs> there's a site called uh, retkikarta.fi we put it below over there you can see lots of these public shelters and a very good topographic map yeah but it's like this actually it looks like our tp and we can make a fire inside look at that well we need to bring the bicycles in so that's a story for itself now Whew, all right but let's rock and roll when we camp in a forest we have to unload the bikes at the night and take them in it's not possible otherwise. They have some traveling job to do. If we don't shovel it, when we make a fire, this is going to melt and come inside. So. These feather sticks Fire will go very easy. It's really a nice way of making fire. And then there's air between them. So that's the trick. Before we go now. Dinner is some frozen tomato and 
and this and a keto pea soup. Are you cold? Uh, this this is sleeping bag. This not that good. So I'm not that cold, but it's okay. I'm going to make some porridge. Snow ice porridge. Lovely, baby. How's it going? Oof, we're both very tired today. I think we really need a rest day. I don't know how to organize that. Yeah. Maybe we go and... Ah, oh, sorry. Find enough firewood and camp somewhere well. So, let's see, let's see. Cold. Oh, cold and tired. Today is not a good day. Uh, we are not going to forget you guys. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we come to join. We won't leave you here, don't worry. Today we were really tired, both of us, and... I was just crying. I really need a rest day. I think both of us. And we just got an email from Pihkuri Hotel, which are around 10 kilometers in front of us. They invited us to stay in their place for two days, and that's really, really good. We can have a rest day, maybe the first true rest day in a very long time. And we can have a shower and maybe even wash some of our clothes. It's really, it's really time. Let's rock and roll 10 more kilometers. And by the way, spring is coming. Does it feel like spring? Yeah, it feels a little bit. Now it's minus still, but yeah. yeah. I think it's like around minus 10 at least now. Yeah. But it is spring indeed. Anyway, we are in Finland, so... And I think it's well deserved the rest there, to be honest. Really, really well deserved. Two days rest. Oh. Nowadays, weather has been humid and cold. Oh man, this when it's humid, minus one feels like a minus hundred. Kills really. But without humidity, till minus 20, it's fun. After minus 20 till minus 30, it's interesting and challenging. After more minus 30, let's see how it goes. Hey, we made it! <laughs> and then, the first question is always, what do we do with our bikes? <laughs> but let's go inside. Uh, I checked your bike, what was the sound coming from? I think, I think it was some snow in there. Mud guard. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I hope so. Nice sound like a snow in a mud guard in the... Okay. Oh, good. In Pihkuri we got to take a shower, have a sauna, do some laundry, enjoy a great meal, and prepare ourselves to continue our journey to the Arctic. 
Even if it was March already, we still had the coldest nights in front of us. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so YouTube will notify you when we post our next video. Bevan is trying out a new bikepacking trail in the Arctic and that will take him to North Cape in Norway. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook where we post a lot more frequent and up-to-date content. Thanks for watching and feel free to help our channel grow by sharing this video. And an extra big thanks to our patrons, we could not produce this content without you. Bye!